Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to share something with you about an interesting study. The author's name is James M. Ripper. You see it right there, right? Okay. Now, the name of the study is Relationship Between Added Sugars Consumption and Chronic Disease Risk Factors Current Understanding. Now, I want you to keep an eye on this guy named James, Dr. James M. Ripper. He's a Harvard graduate. And you know what he said in this study? I posted this study in one of my, in the community section. A couple of people said, well, what are you doing? You're posting this study. This study says that sugar is not that bad for you. It's actually, you can eat up to 31 teaspoons of sugar, he says. This, this doctor says you could eat up to 31 sugars of white sugar. 31 teaspoons of white sugar. And it won't cause any harm to you. You could eat it every day for the rest of your life. And he says, there's nothing wrong with fructose. You know, that's the part of the sodas and candies. He says, there's nothing wrong with it. It won't cause any harm to you as long as you, you eat up to 31 spoons of it every day. Now, Mr. Dr. Ripper, you're so full of shit. Okay, let me tell you something. This is the game, what I'm about to show you is the nonsense. You're being hypnotized and manipulated and you don't even know it. Okay? Oh my, I'm not even gonna go through the study. All I'm telling you is if you wanna read it, I'm gonna put the link in the screen, in, in the description of the video. But in a nutshell, what he said was, sugar is not that bad, they are exaggerating, and the people that are doing the exaggerating is because they want media attention. They want attention. Blah, blah, blah. All this nonsense he said, right? But let me show you something. Conflict of interest. J. M. James M. Rippet. Research Laboratory has received unrestricted grants and has received consulting fees. Consulting fees. From Conagra Foods, Kraft Foods, the Florida Department of State, Pepsi, Coca-Cola. Come on, are you kidding me? Pepsi, Coca-Cola. They live off this sugar stuff. Damn, fructose corn syrup, all in their sodas. The Corn Refiners Association and many other publishers. He's been paid in his pocket. So now, this is the guy. By the way, this is the only study that says sugar is good for you. Isn't that a coincidence? So I'm laughing because I'm about to show you something that's going to surprise you. I want to show you an article from MIT. It's called the Night Science Journalism. Sugar and corn go to war. Who pockets $41,000 a month? Get ready for this. $41,000 a month he was getting. Yeah, Mr. Ripper himself, the one that claims that everybody else wants media attention. But Dr. Ripper was also paid $41,000 a month retainer by the trade group. The court document, by the way, he was sued because of this. Imagine that. The court documents show to serve as an outside expert, oh, outside expert, whom were repeatedly asked to send commentary pieces to local newspapers and dispute any claims that consuming high fructose corn syrup and foods was not any riskier than sugar. It's, it's good for you. As long as you just eat 31 spoons every day, you'll be just fine. And then this guy used his own studies from his lab to try to dispute. I mean, this guy is a con artist. Dr. Ripper, in an interview on Tuesday, said the corn industry payment did not influence the conclusions. The $41,000 he was getting a month to say that high fructose corn syrup is good for you, had the, 41, the money had nothing to do with it. $41,000 a month, that had nothing to do with that. Or the advice he offered other medical experts on the topic. There's a very strong tendency to seek evil where there is none. Oh, really? $41,000? The guy writing the study is getting paid by the company. What if he would have said, man, this stuff is bad for you. It kills you. You think the company would have gave you $41,000? You, you're not very smart, Dr. Ripper. You think you're dealing with idiots. You hypnotize people with your nonsense. I don't, have you ever wondered how many people you may have killed because of this? We present an academic research based on the highest gold standard. This clown said he presented academic research. Guess where the academic research came from? The studies he conducted in his lab. He used three RTCs that lasted 10 weeks. He says, 
we gave sugar, we gave fructose corn syrup for 10 weeks to people, nothing happened to them. What is supposed to happen to people in 10 weeks? It doesn't take 10 weeks, it takes years. It takes years, that's the game he played. He cited his own studies that the companies paid for him to do. Can you believe this? How is it even published? How? I mean, that goes to show you. That goes to show you money talks. Money talks. People have been manipulated around the world with this study. Okay? And I am exposing it. Can you imagine this? The guy conducting, the head scientist conducting the study is getting paid by Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and many other companies that make millions of selling, of addicting you to sugar. Okay? And he's getting 41,000. By the way, his, his, his lab got 10 million, but in his pocket, as a salary, he got 41,000 a month. And he got the audacity to say, they didn't do anything for me. It didn't make me lie. Man, listen, Dr. Ripper, you're an idiot. And I'm telling you in your face. And now we have a new era of idiots saying the same thing this clown is saying, except he did it with fake studies. This can't get better than a John Grisham, John Grisham novel. You know, you ever see those novels? Fake scientists, fake data, all this nonsense. That's what this is. I just wanted to share this with you because I have another video coming up on sugar that is going to disclose things that they're not even talking about and why I don't eat it. I'm not even going to give it up. It has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with advanced calculation. It does. Part of it is advanced calculation and products, but there's more to it. Stay tuned because I'm coming. I'm coming strong. I'm not doing this for the attention. I have not been eating sugar for over 45 years for a reason. I will explain it in my, my next video why, what caused me to stop eating sugar at 16 years old. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.